Ravens. Rabu zande de lekere boshanda karababaye. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. We are starting our weekend prayers from every Saturday till December 16th. By the grace of God, we are possessing the gate of 2024. We have come to pray. We don't want to wait till December 31st before we possess the gate of 2024. And so that is why every Saturday, by the leading of the Holy Spirit, we are going to come together just for between 30 and 40 minutes to pray and to channel ourselves, begin to channel ourselves into the new year. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians, First Thessalonians, I want us to be writing this to get down so that you can at your own time pray with it also. First Thessalonians 5, 18. We want to go, you know, into the presence of God. He said, thank God in everything. Can somebody help me be putting those Bible passages? The admin or someone can also help me be putting the Bible passages on the chat so that people will see it. First Thessalonians 5, 18. He said, thank God in everything, no matter what the circumstances may be. That is the amplified version I'm reading. Be thankful and give thanks for this is the will of God for you. Who are for you who are in Christ Jesus, the revealer and mediator of that will? Can we begin to just thank God? Can we thank Him? Can we begin to exalt His name? Thank you for thank you, thank you for sending that Bible passage. Can we begin to thank God? Let's begin to thank God for another day. Can you thank Him since the beginning of the year? Can you thank Him and appreciate Him? Can you say, Father, I thank you. Thank you from the beginning of the year. Thank you for the remaining days in this year in the name of Jesus. That Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you, O God. We give you praise. Can you thank Him? Thank Him according to that passage. Can you just begin to bless Bless his name. The Lord, I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you because your mighty hand has been the one that has kept me. Thank you, oh God, for January to now. Thank him because you are going to see the end of the year. Can you thank him for the year 2024? Can you begin to thank him ahead of the things that God will do in you and through you in the name of Jesus Christ? Thank him for the healing. Thank you for the salvation, the provision. Can you begin to thank him? Father, we bless your name. We give you praise. Can you thank him for open heavens over your life in the remaining days of this year? He said, in every circumstances, what is that circumstance? that you have been in this year, can you say Father, I thank you for bringing me out, uh, for your mighty hands upon me. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for leading me. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for shielding me. Thank you for surrounding me with your wall of fire. Thank you, oh God, uh, for watching over my family. Thank you, oh God, uh, for watching, watching over the church of God, uh, for our pastors. Uh, can you begin to thank God uh, for the nation where you are? Can you thank the Lord uh, for your children, your grandchildren, uh, for the works of your hand, uh, that business, that ministry. Father, I thank you. I thank you, oh God, uh, because, Father, you already saw us through, through this year. I'm thanking you for the great things uh, that you will do in 2024 in my life, oh God. Uh, Father, we exalt you, we praise you. We say thank you no matter the circumstance. Uh, Father, I thank you because out of me shall proceed uh, the voice of thanksgiving, the voice of Mary, the voice of celebration. Oh, the voice of rejoicing in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We exalt you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray. Are we ready to pray? I was talking about Joseph yesterday, and I want to go back there. But the Bible says in the book of 2 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, 
verse 13 and 14. Oh, we, this is a passage that we all know. Second Chronicles. Maribo soto rika rabababaye. Rile setele kere boboboye. In the name of Jesus, I'm using my phone to open Second Chronicles. In the name of Jesus. Ribo shanda da da. Rile kere boboboye. Second Chronicles. In the name of Jesus. Verse 13 and 14. Second Chronicles 7. Can I watch this? And 14. Can you mute that child, please? Can you mute that person? Second Chronicles 7, verse 13 and 14. He said, if I shut up the heaven so that no rain falls, or if I command locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence and plague among my people, and my people who are called, brethren, no, this is my people. These are believers. God is talking to his own covenant children. He said, my people who are called by my name, humble themselves and pray and seek, crave, require as a necessity. My face, they took, you know, you know, pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear them from heaven and forgive their sins and heal their land. Hallelujah. Oh, I want us to go before the Lord in repentance this hour. Can we go before the Lord in repentance? Oh, because sin will hinder the blessing of God in our lives in the new year. And so God is saying, if my people will come, if they will seek his face, if they will pray, he said he will heal our land. He will heal our land. Those things that have been defiled, those things that have been desolated, those things, oh God, at the enemy, he said, I'm bringing healing. I'm bringing healing. Can we go before the Lord? That Father, we have sinned against you. And so we come to you, oh God. We come by the blood of the lamp. Oh, that the blood will atone for us. Wherever we have sinned, in words, indeed, in our actions, oh God. Father, we ask for your mercy. We ask for your mercy in the name of Jesus. We ask, oh God, that you will cleanse us. Cleanse our spirit and soul and our mind. Father, purify us, oh God. Make us whole in the name of Jesus Christ. Make us all take away every dross, those little foxes in our lives. Father, Lord, we come before you, oh God. Cleanse them, oh God. In our lives, in the name of Jesus. Marabo Zande Telekere Bobo. Rimo Shanda Dada Karibo Site Rimo Shanda Karababa. Oh, if you remember the passage we read, oh, in uh, in Genesis 41, 14 yesterday, about, oh God, Genesis 41, verse 14, we talked about Joseph, Ruth, and I want to bring it back so that we can have time to pray. We talked about Joseph, Ruth, and the blind man, Bartimaeus. Oh, the Bible says, uh, Joseph washed himself, he shaved himself. He took off the old garment. And so God is asking with my people oh, who are called by my name who seek him. Can we mute that person, please? Can you mute yourself if you are in a place that is lousy? Thank you so much. We appreciate you for joining us, but let's mute ourselves if we are distracted. Can you, the Bible says he took away took away his clothes. And so that is why we are coming before the Lord in repentance first. Can you ask the Lord? The Bible says Joseph shaved. Joseph out to remove those little foxes. Oh, that is the shaving I am talking about. God is asking us take away those filthiness in our life. He washed himself. Oh, Ruth had to anoint herself. Ruth had to wash herself. Can you ask the Lord to wash you by his word this afternoon? to noon or, the, or wherever whatever the time is where you're joining from father cleanse us and make us whole because we want to approach the new year with boldness without any hindrance without anything oh god being an obstacle for us and our family in the name of jesus we want to be able to come before the lord to approach mount zion to approach zion oh father and be able to find help we want to come by the you know, to, to, to receive that help. But we cannot come in filthiness. We were told about, oh God, a man called Joshua that appeared before the Lord. And the Bible talks about him. 
In, it talks about him in Zechariah chapter 3. We, that he had to take away his filthy garment. He had to take it away. He appeared and the they, he had to be redecorated. He had to take away every filthiness. What is that filthiness of our lives? Those offenses in our lives. Can you ask the Lord? Purify me. Cleanse me. Oh, brethren, offenses will come. But God wants us to begin to grow. Tell the Lord, purify me. Remove those offenses from me me, those things that will be a hindrance. Oh, in the name of Jesus, can you tell him to separate you from relationship that would not allow you to grow spiritually? Some of us, we need to start separating ourselves. Those were the separation of garments. What is that old garment that you have put on? Can you ask the Lord, Father, cleanse me and separate me in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We are going to pray again. We are praying. He talks about the covering, the garment. A garment is like a covering. It's like a covering. What are you hiding under? It's to hide a lot of things. Is it that shame? Is it that shame? That, 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 those shame, the things that have brought shame to you. Oh, that a lot of us have used that old garment, but the Lord is bringing you into newness. Is it that rejection, that fear that you have covered up? Can you bring them before the Lord this hour? Every, oh God, mark of rejection, the mark of rejection, shame. In any way you have suffered shame, can you present it before the Lord and say no more of this? In the name of Jesus, we are still playing the prayer. No more, no more. A prayer of letting go of the old before we enter into that newness, that shifting. Can you ask the Lord? He said he has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of sound mind. Can you ask the Lord? I receive the, the soundness of mind in the remaining days of this year and in the year 2024. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive soundness of mind. Oh, that garment, oh God also typifies appearance how you appear oh before people know god who are you it tells you who you are the garment that joseph had on will typify that he was a prisoner when you see somebody the garment blind bartimaeus had on typify that he was a beggar so that people can give him money oh can you ask the lord every garment that you are wearing those garments that is not of God, whatever, because situation will want to put a garment upon us. Situation will want to force situation, you know, force circumstances, some certain things upon us. Can you begin violently? That garment that the enemy wants to force upon us. Every evil garment in the name of Jesus. See, life will want to bring things into our life. Oh, situation. Joseph did not think that he would end up there. He had dreams of being in the head of seeing his family bowing down to him but situation circumstances of life twisted his life oh can you begin to violently reject every garment that the enemy has programmed as packaged for the remaining days of this year and in the year 2024 oh circumstances oh god that will allow garments that you don't like can you begin to tear them off in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Rebo Soto Rika Rababaye. Oh, Joseph had a garment of many colors before. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Can you tell the Lord those things that are working well in my life in this year? The enemy cannot snatch it away from me. In the remaining days of this year and in the year 2024, Joseph had a many a garment of many colors, but suddenly he was taken away from him. My can you tell the Lord that garment of many colors that you have put upon me as I proceed into the year 2024? Situation that wants to snatch away my joy, that wants to snatch away my children, snatch away my marriage, my ministry. Oh, every good relationship. Can you tell the Lord? Can you violently begin to stand against every evil garment that the enemy wants to force upon us? 
to rob us of our coat of many colors. That coat of many colors was a garment of inheritance for Joseph. Was a garment, oh God, of heritage for Joseph. Was a garment of honor, a garment of blessing, a garment of, oh God, being loved by his father. Every situation that wants to turn around my life in a negative way in the year 2024, oh Lord, arise and let your enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, arise and let your enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus concerning your job, your business, your marriage. Oh, can you cry to the Lord? In the name of Jesus, it will not be stripped away. It will not be stripped away. In the name of Jesus, it will not be stripped away. Root, another example. Ruth another example. Ruth had lost her husband. She has given up hope. Oh, she wore a garment. Oh, of death. It was a garment of death. It wasn't a garment of life. But when God was about to visit Ruth, when God was about to, Bible says that Ruth put on a rich garment. She changed her garment. According to Ruth chapter 3, verse 2 and 3, the Bible says she changed her garment. Oh, she changed her garment. She washed herself, anointed herself with life again. Can you anoint yourself? The Father, Lord, I am anointed. Anoint yourself yourself with life. Can you begin to call the spirit of life into the year 2024? Father, from the from now on, as we end this year, into the year 2024, oh, we call for life. Where there is death, oh, that is speaking, where they have arranged oh God, death, where they have programmed death, where they have targeted death, physical, spiritual, financial death, oh, marital death, all forms of death, ministerial death, any death that the enemy has programmed, oh, where the enemy has gathered, he says, associate yourself together, all ye people, and ye shall be broken into pieces. He says, speak the word, or it will not stand, for God is with us. And so whatever the enemy has programmed into the remaining days of this year, and in the year 2024, from January to December, in the name of Jesus, Father, I take it away. Let it scatter. I anoint myself with life. He said, I have come to give you life and life in abundance. Can you begin to receive the abundant life? He said, the thief comes. Oh, to steal, kill, and to destroy every situation, oh God. In the remaining days of this year and in the year 2024, that wants to kill, to steal, and destroy me, destroy my marriage, destroy my finances, my children's life. My grandchildren's life, uh, destroy my ministry. Oh, can you pray for yourself uh, to destroy any aspect of my life? Uh, Father, I stand, oh God, uh, at, at, at my watchtower this hour. And I said, no. He said, we will say a thing uh, and it will come to pass uh, when the Lord has not said so. Every negative word uh, that the enemy has spoken already into the remaining days of this year, into the year 2024, be canceled. Uh, he said, blotting out every handwriting of ordinances uh, that is against us. Um, everything that is against us, um, we take it away. It has already been taken away. It is nailed to the cross. Um, in the name of Jesus, brethren, the words are in your mouth. Blind Matthias. Oh, had the garment of, oh, the garment of beggar. But God was about to bring him into liberty. God brought him into liberty. Oh, can you bring yourself into liberty in the year 2024? That I come into liberty. The Bible says Jesus cared, called for blind Bartimaeus. And immediately he took away that garment of beggar. That garment of begging. Ah, he took it away. As a beggar, he took it away. Because God was bringing him into liberty. Oh, can you? bring yourself into liberty? Can you use your mouth to bring yourself into your place, your own spacious place, your place of honor, 
your place, oh God of dignity? Can you bring your business into that place you want? What is it that you desire concerning that children, concerning those children, concerning that marriage, concerning, oh God, your life? Can you begin to bring yourself into it? Oh, can you ask for speed concerning that immigration? Oh, concerning that health situation, that business. You have the key. I said he has given us the key. Oh, he's given us the key to open what no man can lock and to lock what no man can open. He has that key. Can you begin to open those doors, the doors of opportunities in the year 2024? The doors, the great and effectual door. Oh, we open it in Jesus' name. Oh, the doors, that business come into limelight in the name of Jesus. Those children, oh God, every situation that does not, oh God, reflect the name of God, does not reflect the word of God in our lives. We both that every alien. The Bible says, deliver me from strange children. We both that another version I was reading this morning. He said, deliver me from the aliens. From aliens, Father. Aliens are not supposed to be living among human beings. Father, what are those so strange situations in our life? that we want God to deliver us from. From every sickness and affliction, from every evil, workers of iniquity, every witchcraft activity, Father, we are delivered from them. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we thank you. I want us to pray. The Bible says in the book, oh God, in the book of Luke, let's take the Isaiah 27 first. In the book of Isaiah 27, verse 3, and I want to read it. In the KJV version, it says, I, the Lord, am the key, am its keeper, so that no one will hurt it. I guide it day and night. Hallelujah. He is the Lord. He is the keeper. Oh, in the name of Jesus. He said, I, the Lord, ha. Oh, we'll do, we'll keep it. You are going to tell the Lord. The Lord will keep you in the remaining days of this year. In the, he said, I will water it. Another version says, I will water it every moment. Because I looked at different version. Another version says, I will water it. What do you want God to keep? So water. He said, lest anyone hurt it. I will keep it night and day. In every night and day. He said, because we dwell in the secret place of the Lord, we will abide under his shadow. Can you bring yourself uh, the mm -hmm. Father? Oh, oh, you will keep us. You, you the Lord, you will keep us in the remaining days of this year. You, the Lord, in the year 2024, tell the Lord, you will keep me. You will keep my marriage. You will keep my children. You will keep the works of my hand. You will take me higher. He said, I will water it every moment. The Lord will water our life so that we are fruitful, so that we are multiplying. We are increasing. We are in abundance. Father, multiply us. Water us, oh God, out of my belly. In the remaining days of this year and in the year 2024, shall flow rivers of living water. No deadness shall come out of us. He said, I will water it every moment. Lest anyone hurt it. Hallelujah. He said, I will keep you from every hurt. I will keep you. I will water you so that no man, no evil, no situation, when the seasons are changing, oh, I will keep you so that it will not be hot. Imagine when you plant something in the, in the winter season. And, oh God, what will happen? The weather will, will damage it. Because there are certain things you cannot plant during cold season. Even in, in, when you are, depending on, this, the, 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 depending on where you are joining from, there are certain things that are planted at different seasons. But he says, I will water it. So that means no matter what you are doing, every good thing that, oh God, that you will do in the year 2024, no matter the season, he said, I will keep it for you. So that no matter 
one will hurt it. No evil will come upon it. I, the Lord, will water you. I will keep you from every evil, from every workers of iniquity. I will keep you, oh God, from every sickness so that nobody hurts you night and day. Oh, in the name of Jesus, the sun will not strike us by day, nor the moon by night. In the name of Jesus Christ, nobody, nobody, Maribo Shanda Dada Yele Kere Bobo Ye, Ribo Soto Rika Rababa Baba. Man lay, let's say they care about I will water it and keep it. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, and I want to read it to us. So back that passage up. Isaiah chapter 4. Man let's say they care about From verse, I will read from verse 3. From verse, let me read from verse 5. Hallelujah. But I advise us to read verse 1 to 6 when you have the time because of our time. Isaiah 4, from verse 5. Manle he said, Then the Lord will create over the entire site of Mount Zion and over his assembly a cloud by day. Hallelujah. Smoke and the brightness of a flaming fire by night. This was the way the Lord kept the children of Israel from every wilderness beast. Brethren, there will be a wilderness season in 2024. But he says, I will keep you. I will water you. You will gush out with water in your wilderness season. <laughs> oh, rivers, oh God, uh, will come out in your desert season. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, no matter the situation, he says, I will protect you. A canopy over you from the storm of the day and of the night. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, he said, and, uh, and um, and the brightness of a flaming fire by night. Hallelujah. I will build a wall of fire around you. Are you praying, brethren, in the name of Jesus Christ? For over all the glory and the brilliance will be a canopy. Ah, over your glory, there will be a canopy from every wickedness. From every wickedness. I love, I love the last verse. In the name of Jesus. And there will be a pavilion, hey, for shade from the heat of the day. Hallelujah. And a refuge and a shelter from the storm and the rain. Can you ask the Lord? <laughs> that means there will be storm and rain. Oh, we know that situations, oh God, circumstances happen. Life happens. And so when those things are happening in the year 2024, can you ask the Lord for a canopy over you during the day, over you during the night? The Father protect us uh, from every storm uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, when I was reading that passage, um, uh, the Holy Spirit laid in my heart, uh, Revelation 12, uh, verse 15 and 17, verse 15 to 17, uh, it, in the Amplified Version, it talks about the serpent um, that spewed water out. Uh, it said the serpent um, spewed water like a river. Brethren, the enemy will rage. They will come against us like a flood. But he says, I, the Lord, I will create a canopy over you in the day and in the night. He says the serpent spilled water like a river. Can you imagine? Like a river. Can you see the amount of a, the water in a river? A whole serpent spilled water against who? Against that woman. Against from his mouth. After the woman so that she might cause her to be swept away. Every situation that wants to sweep us away. Oh Lord arise in the name of Jesus, so that she can be swept away. Oh, the serpent, the laviata, the witchcraft people, situation will arise that wants to sweep us away. Can you call on the name of the Lord that when that situation comes, the Bible says, hey, oh, but the earth arose and helped the woman. It is written, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof and those people that lives inside of it, the earth belongs to God. Any situation that will arise, Oh, he died from the earth, from the firmament. Oh, anywhere in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, arise and help in the name of Jesus. He said when the enemy comes against us like a flood, that the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against the enemy. Can you begin to ask the Lord? Father, Lord, in the remaining days of this year, in the new year 2024, 
from January to December, when the enemy comes, when life happens, to sweep me away from my feet, oh, to bring shame, to bring rejection, oh, to bring death, oh, Father, to ask and question, where is my God? Oh, Lord, arise against that affliction, against that sickness, against that trouble, against anything, that shame, that thing that wants to bring shame to me, in the name of Jesus. He said, I will undo all your affliction. Hey, Zechariah chapter 3. As we are about to round up. Verse 19, he said, Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflicts thee. Can you begin to undo every affliction the enemy has packaged for the remaining days of this year? In the year 2024, from January to February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. November, December. Oh Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus, oh undo, let's begin to undo every affliction, diseases, every death, every suffering, in the name of Jesus, lack, poverty, struggle, rejection, fear that the enemy has programmed. Father, Lord, we overturn and overturn them, in the name of Jesus. Oh, those who have proposed to overturn our, our going, hey, in the year 2024, in the name of Jesus, those who have oh God gathered to overturn them. Father Lord, we come, we undo every affliction. He said, and I will save her that altered. Hey, oh, altered, suspend. I will save where you have been held down, where no man says you cannot go forward. The Lord said, I will save you. To alt is to cease. Where they have kind of like a put a stop. Oh, to up is like a stop, a stoppage, you know, to stop something. Father, in the name of Jesus, he said, I will save you. I will bring you out from that situation that wants to create stagnation, that wants to bring stagnation into your life. He said, I will save you from it. In the name of Jesus, I will bring you out of it. Oh, Father, from where? And that, that, huh, that was driven out, where you have been rejected in this year. We say in 2024, no more. And he said, I will bring you praise. Can you begin to call forth your testimony already? That Lord, every situation will work out for my good. Oh, faith in every land that you have been put to shame. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we must stand at that day. We lay like a bo 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 bo. We must so so we can rabba baba ye. Lastly, as we pray, Psalm 144, verse 7 and 8, when you have the time, it says, stretch forth your hands from above. Rescue me and deliver me out of the great waters from the hands of hostile aliens. Yes, that is the amplified version. Can you say, Lord, let the valiant hand of the Lord arise for me in the remaining days of this year, in the year 2024, in the name of Jesus. He says, stretch forth your hands from above. Rescue me and deliver me from the great waters, from the great waters that the enemy wants to, oh God, hold, Lord, after me, after my family, after my marriage, after my children, oh, to bring me into a situation that is not, oh God, written in the volume of book. Father, you are going to violently tell the Lord what is not written in the volume of book concerning me. In 2024, Father, it will not take place. It will not take place. Circumstances want to change, turn around that which is not of God. Anything that is not of God in the year 2024 that the enemy wants to bring me into, I reject it. I bring myself out. I bring my children out. I bring my husband out. I bring my job out. I bring my ministry out. I bring, oh God, our relationship out. Oh, 
oh, we come out of it. Oh, in the name of Jesus. By the covenant that is in the blood of Jesus, we come out of every prison, every unproductivity. Oh, he said by the covenant in the blood, he will set free the prisoner out of the waterless pit. Father, we come out from every waterless pit, from every unproductivity, from every lack in the year 2024, every evil that have been orchestrated, projected against any one of us. We come out in the name of Jesus. We come out. Lastly, this is the last one. The Bible says in 1 Kings, when you have the time, verse 7 to 28, it talks about Solomon appointing 12 officers for 12 months. Hallelujah. 12 officers to provide for his family, to provide for the people. He says Solomon appointed 12 officers. And what was their function? To provide food for everyone, for the king and his household. First King chapter 4, verse 7 to 28. Go and, go and study it. Each man, each officer had to provide for every month of the year. Can you ask the Lord, my provision, my entitlement, Father, the man you have, oh God, ordained to help me, to lift me up, to elevate me. Lord, the men you have ordained for our children, the women, those people, Lord, in the name of Jesus, can you begin to call them forth? The people, the officers, the helpers of destiny, the assistants for that ministry, the men that God has touched their heart to elevate you. We read about David in Daniel in the first chronicles yesterday. Today, chapter 12, or is this chapter 14? It talks about some men came together to overthrow ah, the, the throne of the kingdom of Saul because it was time for David to be elevated. Ah, those people that you will help me. Oh, in that office, there will be a voice for you where you don't have a voice. Tell the Lord to begin to raise them up in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, those voices that you need when you go for interviews, those voices that will say we just love you those voices for our children in their schools and respective schools and levels where they are that will look at them and favor them in the name of jesus those people that will come into your shop into your business and they just love you they just love you and begin to bring people to patronize you those people you need for the next level that we are talking about shifting our season. Those people we need for the next level. That we all need. So physically, spiritually, oh, materially, financially, maritally, everything that I need. Father, the pro provisions, the help, the support of God in the year 2024. Oh, in the name of Jesus, from January to December, Father, I call it forth. Oh, I call it forth. Let the wind of the Lord, just as the Lord supplied, oh, manna for the children of Israel, he caused the wind to bring them manna. Let the wind go to the north, to the south, east, and west of the world, and begin to announce our name, and begin to bring the people to us. In the name of Jesus, we call for them. Oh, in the name of Jesus, those people that will not rest and begin to pray, they will pray for you and say until you fulfill destiny, until you begin to see your light, oh God, shines like the blessing of the sun. Father, we call for them, those people that God has raised up to interpret the vision in your heart, the dreams in your life, the dreams that God is giving you, those mentors, those mentors, those those people that when you share your vision with them, they will carry it and interpret for you. Just like, oh God, the king had a dream, but needed somebody to interpret. And Joseph was brought out to interpret for him. Those people, you need to interpret that vision concerning that ministry, concerning what God has been telling you, and you lack understanding in it. God will give you understanding and bring people that will also begin to interpret it for you. 
you and make it to go faster, even beyond your own expectation. Father, raise them for us in the name of Jesus. Raise them every season. He said for 12 months. Oh, they provided for Solomon and his household. Ah, those things that you need in your home, in the name of Jesus. Can you call for reason? We don't want to go lightly into 2024. In the name of Jesus, we ask that the wind of God begin to blow and begin to bring them, bring them in the name of Jesus to locate us, to locate us. Let our name, the angels, oh God, that you have assigned to us, begin to blow. Oh, blow the trumpet of our name. When they hear our name, ah, they will say, yes, that is the person that I've been looking for in the name of Jesus. In the year 2024, it will not be an ordinary year. In the name of Jesus, can you begin to thank the Lord that it will not be an ordinary year? In the year the Lord is carrying us on his eagle's wings, the Lord that will bear us is a year we are soaring high. The things that have defeated us, enough of it. You are going to begin to cry unto the Lord and say, enough of it. Enough. Blind Bartimaeus, they shut him off. But the Bible says he cried the more because he was tired of his present situation. He cried the more. The more they shut him, he cried until Jesus heard him. Father, as we come before you every Saturday, as we call upon you, oh God, you will hear us in the name of Jesus. You will answer us. You will make a way for us in the name of Jesus. We have, we have, we have been on this mountain for too long. I don't know about you. There are certain things that a lot of us are trusting God for. And we don't want to go casually through at the end of this year or casually into the new year. We are possessing our possession. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor and adoration. Lord, we thank you. Father, we bless your name, O oh God. Can you give him thanks? Thank you because you've answered us. Thank you for all the prayers. To you be all the glory, honor, and adoration. Father, we say thank you. Can you cover the prayers in the blood of Jesus? In the name of Jesus. Brethren, Lord, we receive fire. We receive fire. Oh, pray. Pray without ceasing. And possess the gates of 2024. Possess it, oh God. Father, as we go, we ask that your presence will go with us. That which you have deposited into our life today, the enemy will not steal it from us. In the name of Jesus, we cover ourselves the remaining days of this year and the year 2024. We cover it in the blood of Jesus. Father, we say thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone that have joined. Thank you, Apostle Lord. May God strengthen you and everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone that have joined. All all our participants. God bless you. God has answered our prayer. Don't let the enemy deceive you. Just keep crying out and possess your possession Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And we share the grace together in fellowship. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, God's goodness God and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of God forever and ever. Amen. In Jesus, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. We are the righteousness of God. We run into to God. We go into 2024 and we are saved. None shall be missing in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we Thank you. Oh, we bless your holy name. The Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon us and grant us peace. Peace in our home, in our spirits, in our life. Peace as we go in the remaining days of this year. Peace, oh God, in the year 2024, from January to December, in the name of Jesus. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let there be peace in Jerusalem, even in this time of war. Let there be peace in Palestine. Let there be peace in Jerusalem. Let there be peace in Ukraine. Let there be peace in Russia. Peace in Africa. Peace, oh God, Father, in Europe. Peace in Asia, in Australia. Peace in North America. Peace in South America, in Antarctica. Peace all around us. Father, we call for your peace as we go through the remaining days of this year into the new year. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding to guide and to guard us. In our peace will not be taken away in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, everyone. Shalom, and God bless us. Amen. Mom.